the show. Okay, so I took a picture of, well, it was of hummingbirds today because okay. they were on my feeder. They really are enjoying the cloudy weather. But I yeah. sent it to my sister and she was like, do you have storms coming in? <laughs> it is so cloudy out there. It almost kind of looks like it could rain. I at, know. At some parts of the valley. I kind of, you kind of wish it would. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, we got the clouds, uh, but yeah, temperature's still staying warm. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. That would be really How nice, do you? But... How do you get hummingbirds so clear? They don't stop moving. How do you get such perfect? Take a lot of pictures. Take right. Olivia, why don't we not having a slideshow of Olivia's? Now, I said it was cloudy, but then we took this cam. <laughs> like, wait, just turn it around. Just, it's cloudy elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> this cam was not ready for us to have that discussion. Uh, yeah, we're taking a live look at the Walter Clark Highway 11 cam in Rancho Mirage. Again, it doesn't probably look that cloudy from this view. Other parts of the valley, obviously, very cloudy today. Um, overcast, uh, even. Uh, yeah, still warm temperatures today. Uh, good news is, though, we will see a little bit more cloud coverage next week could be accompanied uh, by a little bit of rain. We'll talk about that in just a second. But yeah, for today, another day in the one teens, 112 for the high today, and above average uh, for uh, as we round out this week's been above average temperatures all week long. Will be for tomorrow as well, but we'll start to cool down as we get into next week. Here's a look at that radar again across the region. Uh, you can see some scattered thunderstorms and showers still affecting Arizona to the east of us. Again, although we do have that monsoonal moisture uh, making its way up into our area again bring us those um, high to mid level clouds we're seeing in our sky uh, it's not being accompanied uh, by any of that rain uh, that Arizona is seeing temperatures across the valley this hour again we are high 90s up in the high desert 108 at the base 106 at desert hot springs Triple digits for the low desert, 94 in Banning overnight tonight. Again, it's the same story we'd say in all week. Again, a little bit of those warmer temperatures overnight. Again, 80s for the high and the low desert. Now for Saturday, check it out. That high pressure system where the center is over Southern California is going to start to back off uh, California, move a little bit more east. So again, we'll get some light winds again coming from the west direction. Uh, and then as we get into Sunday, again, cooler temperatures, monsoonal moisture coming back that high pressure system clockwise motion, bring it back into the area. Um, highs for Sunday, take a look at the difference uh, for Sunday, 106 for Palm Springs, 107 in Thousand Palms, 105 on the southeast end of the valley. Low pressure system replacing that high pressure system. So again, bringing a little bit of those winds in, drawing of that moisture. Again, we expect to see as we get into early next week. So scattered thunderstorms, showers uh, expected to start on Sunday, peaking Monday and Tuesday. As far as rainfall estimates, if we get any at all, really will just be a sprinkle for us here in the Valley. Comfort Air 7-day forecast again, will be in the one teens um, as we get into the weekend. But again, temperatures dropping to 102 for Monday. We are below average temperatures for me. It's a lot, but we could do it. Yeah, I mean, Tim, you have that in a day, right? I mean. Yeah, I can nail it. No <laughs> Are they partnering with a local dentist for this? Right, well? like you also need to go to the dentist's office, that's sponsored. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Hey, so sign up online if you're interested, and we're back at six. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to her. I feel like I that's pretty impressive. I know. She, I mean, she looks great for 24. <laughs> what was in that cake? Um, it we was don't... A, just a juice, juice, juice pop. Oh, cheese pop. Frozen treat. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Nice. I know. It's warm across the country, and they have that fur on them, so it gets warm. Yeah. Pandas live quite way longer than you would think, right? Yeah. Quite, it's a rather large number of that. Yeah, maybe it's the juice pop. Maybe that's a secret. We should maybe, get some out yeah, here in the should, We should start eating some juice pops. <laughs> Keep us looking young like her. So, all right. Wish I looked 24. <laughs> Just kidding. People still think I'm in high school. Uh, right now, we're taking a live look at the uh, Walter Clark Highway 111 Cam in Rancho Mirage. Look at it. We can see a few clouds up in our sky at this hour. Uh, again, kind of like a little bit of an overcast day uh, somewhat uh, with that mid to high level clouds we've been seeing again with that moisture in our atmosphere. So fortunately, not bringing us any rain here in Southern California, uh, which would be great, uh, but brought us a little bit of that uh, shade today. Did not drop those temperatures, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves today. 130. 13 degrees outside. Another warm day here in the valley. Again, still under that excessive heat warning. Above average temperatures. That'll continue into tomorrow. Has been the trend this entire week. Uh, and kind of funny, interesting enough, we are below average temperatures for all of next week. So there you go. Uh, something to look forward to. Radar across the region at this hour showing a little bit of that radar reflectivity going on in Arizona. Uh, something I've been saying every day this week. And scattered thunderstorms and showers uh, seems to be uh, keeping Arizona company this week. Not so much for us here here in Southern California. Again, just bringing us a little bit more of that moisture as far as high clouds go, uh, but not bringing any of those thunderstorms 
yet. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a second. Temperatures across the bad hour. We are mid-90s up in the high desert. 105 still at the base and desert hot springs. Triple digits for the low desert. 92 for my friends in Banning. Overnight tonight, again, something we've also been talking about. Warm overnight temperatures staying in the 80s for the high and the low desert. So some warm nights as we get into tomorrow. Again, temperatures dropping a few degrees as the high pressure system again today, the center is just over Southern California. It's going to start to back off and move its way east. So again, still bringing us that clockwise motion, uh, bringing a little bit of that monsoon moisture, but again, kind of to make its way out of the area. Um, so we'll stay a little bit hot and humid Sunday. Again, that monsoon moisture will start to make its way back into the area as that center is not so much again over us here in the valley. And then we get into Monday. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's your Sunday size, 106 for Palm Springs, 107 for Thousand Palms, uh, 105 on the southeast end of the valley. So, again, look at the drop in those temperatures. I never thought I'd say that, but I'm excited for 106. Wow, what a cold day for us here in the valley in the middle of summer. And then we get into Monday. Again, this uh, low-pressure system, this trough, again, replacing that high-pressure system. Now, you know with low-pressure systems, we have that counterclockwise motion. So, we'll be getting some winds, again, from that direction. We also have the clockwise winds from that high pressure system again both of them kind of bringing up a little bit of that moisture as we get into next week so again uh, best chance for thunderstorms and showers for the region looking to be monday could start on sunday looking to be monday again continuing for the early evening hours through the middle of next week so keep that in mind it's going to feel a little bit humid if we get rain uh, it won't be a lot if anything at all really just a trace for us here in the valley again thunderstorms i'm going to be saying up in the mountain area so that's what we're tracking for next week good news is with that monsoonal moisture we're cooling down i will take it company our seven day forecast again 110 for saturday 105 as we get into sunday that monsoonal moisture making its way into the area 102 for monday and as i said low average temperatures for all of next week we're taking a look at a video taken a little bit earlier today this is a time lapse of the agua caliente casino cam in ranch mirage uh, giving you a view of those mid to high level clouds we saw going across our atmosphere today again a little bit of that nocturnal convection uh, bring us a little bit of those clouds we are seeing today and take a look at that wow not much of a change from that time lapse to this live look again in the same region we're looking at ranch mirage um, as that sun starts to go down uh, this evening still quite a few clouds out in that sky again generally not something we typically see here in the valley so it's been quite a change this week um, a little bit of that shade from the sun unfortunately not really calming down those temperatures at all so 111 degrees in downtown Palm Springs and winds picking up a little bit at this hour uh, kind of have been for the past couple of days we expect only really breezy conditions for the weekends winds could pick up a little bit as we get um, that high pressure system and the low pressure system off the coast uh, bringing in those winds again from the southwest southeast so winds again from the northwest at this hour though here uh, in downtown palm springs media 11 percent saturday again this high pressure system that brought all those peak warm temperatures we saw today backing off as we start our weekend so we'll get some light winds again from the west here's our highs across saturday uh, for tomorrow again 110 is the lucky number for the low desert 110 in palm springs thousand palms and indio uh, we're staying up in the triple digits up in the high desert 82 for big bear and then we get into Monday again, low pressure system just off the coast and counterclockwise motion bringing in some of that moisture as well um, from the south. Again, we're staying under the one teens for our Monday. Again, as far as rain goes, Monday through Wednesday of next week, if we get anything at all, really going to be just seeing just a trace. Coming out through day forecast, 110 for our Saturday. Sunday, we are 106, 102, a four day below average temperatures as we get into Monday next week. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Pretty getting out there and seeing this. Yeah, 50s and 60s retro music. Yeah. So yeah. if you like that kind of music, you definitely got to check them out. Well, you know, you might have them in your wedding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, we're bringing them over here. <laughs> right? I Come just haven't the told coast. them yet, but they'll be performing. Yeah, they, they don't know it yet, but they're actually coming to the Olivia's wedding as well. So No, but everything looks great. Again, that's Sundays at 630. Yeah. Chloe goes all across the Coachella Valley and finds all of the fun spots. Fun so things, fun food, and the fun food. Where, 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 was, where was that pool they showed over here? Um, somebody's house. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Wow. Uh, everybody have a great weekend.
<laughs> viewers to send. So we in. did send, and she's she's a loyal viewer. So. I watched too, so I thought I'd and send you're a my very <laughs> you're a very loyal viewer. <laughs> Olivia episode. goes home and watches our shows over again. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, no, but thank you for those photos, you guys. Uh, right now we're taking a live look at the uh, Walter Clark Highway 111 Cam in Ranch Mirage. Uh, since we're looking at traffic, let's take a look at that traffic at this hour. Uh, yeah, everyone looks like they're going the speed limit out on 111 at this hour. Again, really not even breezy conditions, just calm in Ranch Mirage at this hour, which is nice. Uh, temperatures look to be uh, 96 degrees in ba Palm Springs at this hour. Again, today's high, 113 degrees. So again, we were, we're above average for today. A uh, trend that we've seen all week will be above average for tomorrow. But that is changing uh, as soon as we get into next week. Here's a look at that radar again across the region. Uh, something we've been kind of showing all week. A lot of that radar reflectivity uh, for Arizona. Scattered thunderstorms and showers. Uh, you can see just on the uh, southeast corner of Arizona uh, making its way into New, New Mexico. Now next week uh, we'll see that make its way back into Southern California. We'll talk about that in just a second. Temperatures out the, across the valley at this hour. We are uh, high 80s up in the um, high desert, 95 at the base. Staying in the 90s for the low desert, 76 in Banning, just below 80 in Cabazon, 61 up in Big Bear overnight. Again, we will be staying in the 80s for the high and low desert. Let's talk about as we get into Sunday. We talked about Saturday. Sunday, again, temperatures starting to drop. You can see 106 to 110 for our Sunday. Again, a high pressure system center going to be more towards the four corners. So we're getting that trend back we saw at the beginning of this week. Again, bring in that monsoonal moisture. Again, really just a moderate winds, not too much of a concern. Sunday's highs, again, a lot different from what we're going to be even seeing tomorrow. 106 for Palm Springs. So again, under the one teens, which is exciting news for us here in the Valley. I'm like excited for that. It used to be really warm for us in Denver, Colorado, not here in the Valley. Triple digits for the high desert, well as, as well for Mon uh, for uh, Sunday. Excuse me, Monday low pressure system again forming just off the coast. So that trough kind of replacing that high pressure system, uh, dominating our weather a little bit again, bringing in those counterclockwise winds. So again, more so bringing up that moisture that we're going to be seeing here in Southern California. So starting on Sunday, and we could see those scattered thunderstorms, uh, isolated showers start to make their way into Southern California again. Biggest expectancy for that is on Monday and Tuesday. So if we see any rain at all, here's what we expect to see. Again, not a lot, really just a trace or two again across the valley, uh, maybe a little bit more for our surrounding mountains. But we continue to track that again with those models as we get into next week. Covered our 7A forecast, one teens for Saturday. What we can tell you, though, is despite whether we'll get rain or not, we are going to have below average temperatures starting on Sunday, continuing throughout with this show on Saturday. Sunday, a place to eat, shows to go to, and where to get your pool. So yeah. you was, was that the, the same group of kids that you had in here from uh, total, uh, Some James? of the same kids, okay. but a lot of other kids, too. So all very talented mm -hmm. stuff. That's this weekend, Sunday at 6.30, everybody.